Entertainment Weekly. I am here at Comic Con, joined now by the originals. Oh, yes. Yes. oh One last time. <laughs> so we are kicking off final season with a time jump. What is the exact time jump? Is it? It's been said over the course of today, ten different things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's true. But I think it's eight years. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Hope Three is, months. Hope two is years. fifteen. Oh, yeah, hope okay. is fifteen. So it's like seven, eight years. Oh yeah, yeah, that's math. You know. Um, okay. <laughs> I know. Years. So we ended last season. I want to start with Elijah because I feel like he had the biggest, the biggest change in the finale as a character. Physically, does he now like not wear suits? What is Elijah like? What he does? <laughs> Did he forget his love of suits? It's, I think he's forgotten how to dress altogether. Oh. It's like you only saw him from here up when he's playing the piano. Right. No pants. <laughs> <laughs> he did have a sword Strong blazer on yeah. when he was playing. Do you play the piano? Uh, I do not, no. Okay. I just, Charles uh, does. Charles, Charles, Charles is sore subject. Sore yeah. subject. Um, yeah. Charles asked one of the writers to write him in playing the piano, and the next <laughs> script had Daniel Gillies playing the piano. And so therefore, Marcel, seemed, seemed never going right. to happen. I'd already signed up for two years of piano lessons. Yeah. <laughs> so when we catch up with Marcel, he's playing the piano. The weird thing is, the, re the recording of that song during that, during that scene is actually Charles. <laughs> <laughs> During the panel, did you say that he's forgotten he's a vampire? Is that? Okay. That, that, that <laughs> question like will that. be answered uh, uh -huh. in time okay. <laughs> during the course of the season. Sure. Um, as for Klaus, without his family, is he just, is he losing his mind a little bit? Is he just killing people? Yeah, he's gone crazy. <laughs> killing loads of people, massacring, uh, seemingly at random. Just, just, it's a bloodbath. It's true. It's just another day. Yeah, just another day. Makes for good TV. Mm hmm. But for, so if Hope is now 15, yep. is she dating? Are we going to... No, absolutely we, not. <laughs> <laughs> are we going to run into that? There's a boy. What? <gasps> there is a boy. Gross. And the way I, you know, we are Gross. supposed to tone the script with the directors, which means we sort of talk about what we want it to feel like. And there's this one scene where she's sitting at her school and this boy just walks by and she just sort of watches him. And I said, this is like... Jordan Catalano and the oh. locker lean. I said, this is a locker lean moment. And all the men in the room were like, what the hell are you talking <laughs> about? So I don't know what that is. Yeah. You guys, honestly. I mean, like, that says it all. I think, unless, is that my school? It is absolutely. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, well, Freya is the one family member who can still, like, interact with Hope and be around. So has she been active in her life? Yes, okay. I believe so. I believe very active with her. And, um, but yeah, she's also kind of for the first time in a little bit of a peaceful time. Mm -hmm. um, she's in love, but I think she won't stop to get them all together again. Yeah. And yeah. She's now like in she's a witch. Like she grew up with all those powers, so she can kind of like teach Hope how to deal with it a little bit too. You know, I think she knows what she's going through. So sure. Yeah. Who's had the best eight years? Is the question. Who's enjoyed themselves the most in the time jump as a character? Josh. Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Josh. Josh is, Josh is uh, on yeah. the fire. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Haley's yeah. got a friend with benefits. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very scandalous. Very, that's new information. Ooh. First time it's been said. Yeah. Haley's getting some. She's <laughs> on the red. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. think he has an accent. He does. Everybody has an accent. Does. Right. Everyone does yeah, but it's so handsome. You're right. I always thought that was a thing, but it's not really a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing in the world, just not on the originals. Yeah. Yeah. It's so exciting. What kind of accent? Irish. <laughs> Ooh, that is fun. Yep. It's, it's an Irish character named Declan, who we named after our beloved Declan, who was a yes. writer for the first three seasons, who's also Irish. You should have made him Scottish just to like just piss Declan off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Julie, you said at the panel, obviously, Candace coming on for the premiere. Yeah. You mentioned Caroline as a boost for Klaus. What did you kind of mean by that? You know, She's going to help him get out <laughs> to, <laughs> onto the top five. <laughs> Apple box. Yeah. Milk sure. situation. You know, I just think, like, there's something about Caroline Forbes, Salvatore, Al Saltzman, Salvatore, et cetera, et cetera, <laughs> that um, is, she's just got so much life in her. And, you know, because she, she was sort of captured in that moment of time as, like, that teenage girl. And so... She just brings the spirits up of people around her, um, like the actress does as well. And so there's just something great about watching Caroline call Klaus on his shit. You know, yeah. like be like, oh, boo hoo, you're tortured. Like, get over yourself. And she actually does, I think, say to you at one point in the script, like, I think those are exact lines. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 like, script. enough with like, oh 
my dad died and I'm wounded. Or my dad was mean to me and I'm wounded. Yeah. Like, get over yourself. Like, basically, she says that. So. Amazing. Well, you guys know it's your final season. Yes. It'll be your last chance with these characters. Do you all, knowing that Julie might not listen to any of your ideas, <laughs> but do you have, like, a bucket list? Like, something you would love to either just explore Ooh, dramatically or see your character do? That's a great a bucket list. A final season bucket list. Speak. Mm. Speak. I'm, writing, I'm taking notes. <laughs> I do, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you mine because then it might not happen. Everyone go, ah, oh, he gave it away before the the, the end. So I think I'm already yes. working on it. Me that. as well. I want to do something in a period costume. I know oh, you. Do. I did have this like like <laughs> fantasy of doing it in like the '60s, oh. but Freya would be sleeping, so I wouldn't be a part of any of those right. the fun decades. Cool. But like, the yeah. '60s would be cool like with vampires. Period yeah. costume. Yeah. Well, Jim you know, Morrissey I will say this: it is finally on the originals. Episode. Mardi Gras season, and the Ooh. entire season is going to take place from the kickoff of Mardi Gras season until basically when we get to all the Jesus bits, you know. <laughs> sure. So there's going to be yeah, there's going to be some 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 beads and some some floats Star and some games. costumes and, and, and some Jesus, Jesus bits. <laughs> yeah. Are the final words of this series always and forever? Oh God. Oh. Maybe. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. I can't you now they are. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Photo credit. Glad <laughs> <laughs> you guys stopped by. No, but seriously, thank you guys for stopping by. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And you guys stay tuned for more from Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs>